Hey there, tennis fans. I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. Coronavirus vaccines are coming, and players are taking a stand on the issue. Andy Murray says he likes the idea and says that all players should be required to take the vaccine. Three pharmaceutical companies have now announced positive results for their vaccines. And as we tape today's news, the rollout to frontline healthcare workers is set for later on this month in the U.S. With the 2021 pro season approaching in just a few weeks, Murray says the vaccine should be mandatory for players and that he hopes all players are willing to do it for the good of the sport, adding that the vaccines are proven safe and clinical trials have been properly conducted and show minimal side effects. And he says he thinks most players in that case would be in favor of a vaccine if it means the tour can get back to normal. While he does admit, though, that we really don't know the potential long-term side effects, he says he's confident in what he is hearing in the news media. Now, Novak Djokovic has expressed criticism over vaccines in general. He says, though, he's not opposed to vaccines. He just doesn't want to be forced to take one. However, he says if it's the only way he can continue to play, he'd have to consider it. Now, this is likely to be a very big issue for next season. So tell us what you think about it. Should COVID vaccinations be mandatory for tennis players? You know, it gets pretty tricky because we've got the Australian Open set to start just in a few weeks, coming up January 18th. And as we tape today's news, the Australian media is reporting a likely delay, perhaps a week, maybe more. Tournament officials are still negotiating with the government over quarantine details. All we know at this point is that the dates have been pushed back as the virus continues to spread. We, of course, will keep you posted. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.